Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ExtremeHardware.com uh, YouTube channel. Today we will show you the RV05 from Silverstone, which is a new model and a very interesting one. We will, uh, at first, we want to mention that this is just a video preview of the cabinet, and uh, you will find, uh, and we are making a written review that we will be published published in our portal. Um, so you you will see a lot of different photos, details, and obviously also thermal tests and also acoustic measurements. So we will read an introduction from the producer. The Raven RV05, it's the fifth edition in the exciting Raven Enthusiast chassis series, and it continues the tradition of breaking and evolving the standard of a desktop PC design, with a bold move that sees the removal of all 5.25 inches drive bays, the Raven team engineers again saw the opportunity to reutilize the 90 degree rotated design. Previous Raven models with 90 degree layout often had to compromise on space efficiency due to fix the length of the motherboard. In rotated orientation. The elimination of 5.25 inches base, so, base solves this issue naturally and enables the RV05 to be even more balanced in terms of design than if the same were done to a traditionally layout case. In fact, as you can see, um, this uh, patented uh, license of uh, uh, Silverstone uh, makes uh, makes um, uh, rotates the the motherboard tray uh, 90 degrees um, uh, will, as we will see later um, with the most of the wasted space eliminated from the RV05 engineers were able to better optimize the case for the most important performance effect affecting components such for example the CPU and the GPU. The result is an expertly engineered ATX chassis that is just as capable in terms of compute power and its dissipation as the first Raven chassis. And uh, we've made some tests and it's correct. More or less the uh, RV01, but enough the size. So they just wanted to create an RV01 an RV cabinet in a smaller footprint but uh, with the same uh, cooling cap capabilities and this is very nice. Um, equipped with the la latest revision of airplane trotter fans that include three fan, uh, three speed switches in the upper part and modern touches such as externally removable filters for example here you can check the length it's easily removable and the two less panels. The RV05 has everything that PC enthusiasts could wish for in a compact high performance computer case that is not only cool and quiet but also easy to build and maintain. For those not wanting to constantly step up in case size to obtain top level performance, the RV the Raven RV05 is the perfect solution and the, it may also represent a glimpse into the future of mainstream enthusiast PC design. So anyway, this was the um uh, that was the introduction uh, for the from the producer. As we can see, the cabinet it has a, um, uh, an external plastic finisher, which isn't so good. If I should uh, make a statement, because of obviously it feels a little cheap in our opinion, but. Um, we have also uh, uh, steel inserts, for example, these side panels, which are very solid. Is this steel? Yeah, yeah. And um, also, uh, it have um, a window side panel. 
and um, so it's very compact to be honest um, especially in opposition to the old ones but uh, let's check the uh, dimensions okay we got a depth of 498 millimeters an height of uh, 529 and a width of 242 millimeters uh, the weight it's just 7.6 kilograms so it's not much and the interesting thing is that we can remove the upper side of the cabinet and uh, as you can see here I'll show you right now you will find that we have two very solid handles so we can take the cabinet with us anyway it's it's almost 10 kilograms and it's a bit too much okay so um it's have got seven expansion slots as you can see on the back but we will check that right now seven As you can see, uh, we got a um, PSU in a vertical orientation, so uh, it makes uh, it has a lot of interesting cooling capabilities um, because uh, putting a PSU into this uh, orientation it makes. Uh, uh, it isolates the, C the PSU from the rest of the system and uh, so seven uh, expansion slots and uh, a fan of uh, 120 millimeters in the upper side we can also find that there is a switch one, two and three one, two, three, high and low for the uh, two 180 millimeters AP 181 fans, which are made by Silverstone. Um, some other things, yeah. So let's check the cabinet inside. Okay, it's a bit complex at first because you need to press firmly uh, and pull uh, to the upper part of, of the case okay so um, I want to mention I want to mention also another thing um, my um, um this is uh, the, the placement of the camera it's okay it's right just because uh, as you can see here there's a particular uh angular orientation because the the cabin itself it's rotated um like uh, 50 or 20 degrees if you can check and this uh, system it could enhance and enhance the um, the the thermals in the inside because the fresh air comes from here it uh, it's pushed to the upper side but uh, with an angle this uh, this system this system it lets you um, it avoids to to create some hot spots for example here or in the inside or in the lateral parts so it's um it's a very interesting uh, feature that it's not um, um, it's not shown in the main uh, 
uh, in the main list of the producer. So anyway, uh, as you can see, we've got two 180 millimeter fan in the lower part, which are the um, SST AP181H. Okay, and um, so two instead of the three in the uh, TJ11, which is the top uh, cabinet with the, the, the best one from Silverstone, but also a very costly one. So, uh, two fans in the inside. We got um, the... We can install two uh, 3.5 inches hard drives here. We, got, uh, we can install a PSU this is an FSP uh, 650 watts, um, Aurum uh, 92 plus, so it, it, it has a platinum certification. And um, this is um, an EVGA GT X480, which is our thermal standard to make the tests, and uh, also a thermal right um, True Spirit 120. Um, you can see that we've got a Rampage 2 Extreme motherboard. This is our testing platform. And um, so, uh, as you can see, the, the orientation is strange for the new users that uh, uh, haven't seen anything like this before. But it's a very nice one regarding the temperatures. About the compatibility. Um, as you can see, the, the cooler, the thermal right one, it's tall almost 160 mm. Um, term, um, Silverstone specified that uh, you can install maximum uh, 162, so there should be a couple more millimeters um, right there. Uh, about the VGA, you can install up to 305 millimeters, 305. And uh, about the PSU, we have measured that we can install up to 198 millimeters. But there is an issue: the HDD cage, because as you can see here. Yeah, it's almost 192, but we highly suggest you to don't use a unit up to 16 centimeters or 160 millimeters because of otherwise you will have a problem with the um, cables of the PSU. Let's check. Okay. This is the these are the tolerances of this unit. Okay. As you can see there there are a couple of centimeters and uh, I can assure you that this system it's very nice but it has also some problems. It can uh, uh, generate some issues while mounting the wall system because at first you need to remove these you need to install the motherboard, you need to install the CPU, you need to install the PSU, you need to install the VGA, and then you will need to install the HDDs. This is the, that's the way you should proceed with this cabinet. Because otherwise, I can assure you that you could throw it in the waste. Okay. It's not a cabinet for uh, people that wants to that isn't capable of doing something different while assembling a, uh, a computer. It's a cabinet for the expert ones. Anyway, um, that's the situation right here, and um, so. What about the I.O. port? Let me take... Okay, the camera here. Yeah. 
we can find that we've got two USB 3.0 mic in and audio in power button reset button and obviously what I've shown before these are the fun switches okay oh by the way when you turn on the cabinet this uh, this is a LED uh, white and red with an HDD indicator <clears throat> okay so this is the situation and um, so let's check the back where well this is a problem this is the main problem of this cabinet because uh, as you can see right now uh, there's a tolerance issue and a cabling routing issue in the back the um, the depth uh, in the back it's 2.7 centimeters so 27 millimeters but this is the issue As you can see, the cable routing it's not exceptional. Um, you need to avoid to put cables here because otherwise it won't it won't close the the window. You need to insert the window from the upper side. So you need to use some uh, um, systems, some cables, cable ties and um, try to, to figure the, the best uh, uh, cable routing. Um, Silverstone uh, tries to, to help you because uh, there are some, uh, um, some um, configurations regarding the cable management in the back but anyway uh, it seems like a total chaos at the beginning when you try to to figure out what to do, what to what uh, to avoid, and I think that uh, maybe they should to uh, add maybe a centimeter more, because this isn't uh, the way Silverstone wants to promote itself in the world. It's not possible to to have such a, a mess in the back for an high-end uh, computer chassis. I can understand that uh, uh, these are the tolerances but uh, from a, um, um, an end user this isn't something acceptable. So uh, I highly suggest to, um, to re reorganize the back to add a centimeter probably, I don't know, in the an evolution RV05 Pro or <laughs> Every zero six, I, I don't, I don't mind, but please to avoid such things. So that that was all. Anyway, here you can uh, install an SSD, and here another one. Here instead, there is a placement for the uh, for a slim DVD um, uh, peripheral. Uh, per, uh, per, 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 anyway. <laughs> Okay, I'm not English, sorry, <laughs> I forgot a term. Um, okay, that's all. Uh, so, please check uh, the written review in our portal. We have tested uh, the GPU, the CPU, also for almost the, the whole lineup of the Silverstone cases. We, we will find the FT02, which, which is fantastic, the RV03, the RV03. RV04, the TJ11, which was a 630 euros when it was released. So, check the review, let us know what you think, and thank you uh, for the attention.